<sighs> hey guys, Oz TV here coming at you with a brand new video today. It's kind of hard for me to talk about, but uh, I have an addiction. So some of you might know that I've been struggling with a problem recently trying to keep my money in my pocket and not spend it. I'm addicted to buying shoes now. How's that for a clickbait title for you guys? <laughs> All right, today I'm gonna show you guys most of the shoes that I'm gonna be wearing at to school. Uh, first off, I'm just gonna show you the ones I got on right now, which was the ones I got the other day. They're not really heat, but they're uh, a weather alert system going off in there. But uh, they're not really heat, but they're just uh, some shoes that I just kick around in, you know, and uh, got the leather on the back. I think they're pretty sick. I'll give you a close up view of them. So as you can see, it's just the regular Van shoe, uh, not the half cab, but I, it's still a really nice shoe and I, I recommend it to anybody who just wants a regular shoe. Next we got the KD9. It's a really nice shoe if you're uh, just an all around, like you all around play basketball, you go indoor, outdoor. It's very durable, nice shoe to have. I really like it, but it's white, so it'll get dirty easily. I like this colorway also, the USA colorway, and uh, yeah, here's a close-up of this. You can see it's a pretty nice shoe. Uh, you got the full-length zoom and all that, and I like the colorway a lot. Uh, all around, it's a nice shoe. It's very comfortable, one of the most comfortable I've ever uh, worn. And yes, I'll be definitely wearing this this year. For my third shoe, I got the Kyrie one, and these are IDs. I'd say these are the first shoe that I got that actually started me into uh, collecting shoes. And I really don't have that many, but I spent a ton of money, probably like $2,000, $3,000 on shoes. But uh, yeah, if I, had, if I had kept that money, maybe I would be somewhere in life right now. But yeah, here's a close up of this shoe. As you can see, I uh, got the white speckle on the back. These are kind of dirty on the bottom because I've had them for so long. Got my name in the tongue. And uh, yeah, just black and gold. Nice looking laces. Yeah, I tried to clean these up so many times, but it really just didn't work out for me. But I really do recommend this shoe. Uh, it, it blew out on me a long time ago, but uh, I got like probably seven months of like hooping every day outside and inside with these shoes but yeah um i still wear them sometimes to this day they are kind of uh the i don't have any insoles in them right now because they got um they got messed up but uh yeah i really do recommend this shoe but on to the next one and since i figured i'm do i do them together uh we got my top my favorite basketball shoe that i've ever played in besides the KD 9s I'd say. <laughs> That's my close second. But uh, uh, Kyrie Irving's also my favorite player, so that might be a little bit of a... Uh, uh, I might be a little lean towards Kyrie's, but, you know, I really do love this shoe. It's got the strap. Um, not, nothing else to really say about this. Uh, it's awesome. I just love it. It's got this pivot point in, in here, and you'll get a closer view of that in a sec. So, as you can see, uh, the Kyrie 2 got these strap right here like I said earlier and uh, the second section of the shoe and it's it's kind of like three sections it's got the strap this uh, ankle part and the actual shoe part this is what it looks like whenever the strap is off yes I, as you can see it's got the laces and everything here's the bottom the pivot thing that I was talking about that's really like it makes spin moves really, uh, really fluent, and yeah, it's it's a really nice shoe, and I really recommend it to anybody who's willing to drop 120. Next off, I'm gonna get into the LeBron Soldier line that I have. I don't have any LeBrons right now with me, but uh, yeah, I got the Soldier Nine. I also got the Soldier Six or Seven. I can't actually remember. I th I'm pretty sure it's the Seven, but I'll show that in the next shoe. But uh, yeah, our, this shoe is good, but um, I, I try to play outside with it and it kind of hurt my feet. Maybe that's just because of my foot, but I feel like the LeBron 12 lows are a lot better of a shoe. And, uh, I mean, for some people, maybe this shoe is great. And 
I mean, really, maybe it's because I was playing outdoor with it, but, uh, or maybe they're just too big, but uh, I like the look of this shoe, but I really didn't like the performance aspect of it, and it's kind of busted now because I really did play in these a lot because these were my outdoor shoe, and I always played outdoor, but yeah, take a closer look at these. So as you can see, uh, here's the LeBron Soldier shoe, and uh, you got the straps right here, and uh, the bottom. See, it's it's kind of worn right there, and uh, yeah, it's got the mesh on the out outer part, and it's got the fly wire right here also. I don't know if you can see that, but yeah, I mean, it's kind of got like a little seat belt strap type thing it's velcro it's really nice though i really like it next lebron shoe i got is the soldier 7 i'm pretty sure that's what it's called correct me if i'm wrong but uh what a sneakerhead you are austin i used to know all the names but i haven't worn this shoe in so long that i just forgot about it honestly uh this was my second basketball shoe that i ever had got and uh keep in mind i bought all my shoes by myself uh besides the birthday gifts and uh, two pairs of my shoes but uh anyway as you can see the LeBron soldiers that I got uh, I'm really probably not gonna wear these but uh yeah they're in my collection they look absolutely huge because of how narrow they are but uh yeah this shoe <sighs> okay I'd say this is my most durable shoe I've ever had in my entire life um, I got this at the beginning of the last school year and uh, really I did not try to take care of them at all I just I ran around did whatever in these shoes but uh, I think these shoes are really awesome because of how well they held up they got the fly wire and they're really comfortable they got the uh, flowers on the inside most some of y'all don't care about those but uh yeah it's really nice shoe Nike free run 5.0 I love this shoe uh, it's lasted me so long. Here's a closer view of this shoe. As you can see, the flower pattern. And uh, yeah, really like this shoe. It's a nice shoe. For the last shoe, we got the Jordan 29. Um, these are the shoes that Russell Westbrook wears. And uh, I really like this shoe. I'm gonna slide down a little bit because I don't know. If, I don't know if the camera can see. Me. So here's the shoe, Jordan 29s. Jordan logo. Everything looks nice. Bottom's kind of worn because I've worn them so much. You got this uh, hard plastic -y material right here that I really like. The only thing that I don't like is this bag and how it's got this leather patch right here. But um, yeah, everything else about this shoe is great and I love it so much. And it was my favorite shoe before I got the Kyries and the KDs. I hope you guys did enjoy that video. If you want more videos like that, I will tell you guys every time I get new shoes. Um, I was already thinking about doing that, but uh, yes, if you guys did enjoy that video, please leave a like, go ahead and subscribe to my channel, and peace out guys.